can't. I told him I would pay for it. My dad's 72, he's got a tumor in his brain and cancer, and he's dying, and I'm supposed to be there. I didn't do it on purpose. On August 18th, 2023, officers responded to Walmart following a report of a woman shoplifting items worth more than $100. Howdy, howdy. All right, so how much are we looking at? 111.85. All right. And we wanted to press. Total accident. Okay. And we're wanting to press charges. Have a trespass. Alrighty. Oh uh, my. Ma'am, what was your name? Veronica. 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 I'm gonna go ahead and read you uh, your Miranda right. You're arresting me. They want to press charges. I I'm... didn't go to my dad. So I'm gonna explain to you what's gonna go happen, and we're gonna go from there. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights, not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand these rights as yeah, I've explained them I to do. you? No, I was an accident. Nobody. Okay, Veronica. Well, why are we stealing from Walmart today? I wasn't meaning to. Okay. I honestly thought I had run them up. Okay. If I did, I wish one of the ladies around there would have said you missed this or missed that, and I would have freaking rung it up. Okay. So, you thought you were ringing stuff up? Yes, I was in a hurry because my dad is on hospice. He's out home. He's dying. He's got... doesn't have very much time left. So I was in a hurry ringing stuff up. Okay. All righty, Veronica. So, you're just trying to get things in a hurry, get home back to dad, and you weren't aware of, you know, yes, what you were I messing. I swear to God, I wasn't aware. I was adjusting stuff in the car because I thought I had rubbed it up. Okay. All righty. Um, sweetness. And we're looking at, like, 111, you said? Okay. I told him I would pay for it. Okay. Let me ask you, Veronica, is there anyone else at home with dad right now? No. How old is dad? My dad's 72. He's got a tumor in his brain and cancer and he's dying and I'm supposed to be there. Okay. <coughs> One or two things is, would be appropriate if you missed something, but $111, that's a lot. I swear to God, I didn't know that. I was, I was paying for it. Okay. All right, well, Veronica, I'm going to go check some stuff on my computer. I'll be right back and follow up with you and... Got to discuss what's going to happen. You're going to hang out right here. As long as you've been cool with them, I'm cool with leaving you here uncuffed. But if you start I'm getting not, squirrely, I'm we'll, we'll take... My dad I get that. But if you take that next step, we'll take our next step, okay? I'll be right back with you. Can I call and see if he's okay? Yeah, you're free to make a phone call. <coughs> She's clear, no other ones, so... Cut her loose, and so that way she can go home to dad. Thank you. Veronica, I know what it's like to be taking care of elderly family members, so that's why I'm letting you go tonight. I have no way to disprove or prove if that's legitimate. So I'm going to explain what's going to happen, and then we're going to go from there. So take it as my good natured person. Maybe you're taking advantage of me. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not saying that you are for sure or not. Those are the circumstances. You are going to get a court date. You do have to show up for that court date. It'll be at the Yelm Municipal Court. Do you know where that's at? Yeah. Okay. So, i got to go out, get that actual date and time for you. I've got most of it prepped, ready to go, so all I have to do is enter your phone number, give you that court date, hit print, and you're going to go on about your way. Yep. Have they already signed the uh, trespass order with you? Uh, he is with the city, but he's no longer with the police department. What is neighborhood markets? I don't even it's know the Walmart there. branches. It's so when you see a blue logo here for like Walmart, there's just green typically, and it's usually just like your typical groceries and basic necessities. I understand why nobody freaking out there, a lady or something, did tell me I missed something. Well, like my partner already pointed out, it'd be understandable if it was a one or two things, but the handful that it was. It was, That's where it's concerning. It was clothes and a mop thing, and I know I missed it. And the clothes I just picked up from the, the 
they since they moved it, and I yeah. all the prices Grab a photo real prices quick, and I'll be done. <laughs> and you know what? You have the ability to go to court, and when you, you explain to the table, judge, I'm not gonna steal something. Okay. Yep. Well, that's why we have courts, right? So. Yep. It'll be your go. process of it. And if you feel that you've been treated unfairly or getting this criminal charge for something that you don't think you did, explain it to the court. And that's why we have courts. So. Okay. And you'll get a copy of the trespass order, so that way you have it on your person. If you feel like you want to dispute that end of it with Walmart, there's contact information on there that you can. Because I dispute it for both. Because I do it on both. Well, okay. And that's your constitutional right? Yep. And you'll have that process, but we got to do our job when something's reported to us. Well, I don't. And that's why I'm letting you go home tonight and t not taking you to jail. So, as far as that concerns, until you handle with Walmart side of things, clearly don't come back. Because if you do, even if you set premise on their parking lot, you go to jail for trespass. There's two different levels of it if you cross into the store, but essentially if you come back, you can be arrested. It's, it's ridiculous, but I get it. Okay. Um, is this your purse here? Yes. Okay. All this stuff is Okay. Oh, this is all her stuff? Yeah, they've already taken the Perfect. Well, Veronica, I'm going to leave your ID right here in your purse. We've got all your stuff real quick. Before I go back to my car and get your paperwork ready, what is a good phone number for you? Alrighty. So, I believe, if I remember right, the last citation I issued court's going to be on the 31st, but I'll just double check that for you, okay? It's going to be at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm going to go back out to my car, get that stuff going. If you guys finish up in here before I'm done, my partner will hang out with you or just walk you out to my car. That way we can get you out and going on your way, okay? All righty. Give me just a few seconds, Veronica. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, working there a lot, and they accused her of stealing any chance we see her hand, and they killed the sleeper. I can't go to the court date because I'm going to bring you Uh, just call the court. There'll be a number on there, and they'll just say you can't make that date, and they'll reschedule it for you. 39663. I understand that I'll be arrested. I'll be there on the washer. It's stupid, and then I will tell you about it when I get home. Make sure he's okay. Oh, that, sorry. Mm. On a bra, underwear. Evidently, the underwear got hooked up into the bra. You've seen that. I'm sorry that happened. I didn't do it on purpose. I'm ready. Like I said, it's going to be the 31st, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And like I told him, if I have ended up at a funeral, ask whatever. I told him to call the court. Yep, okay. if you have any reason that something comes up that takes precedent over half the show up to court. All their contact information is up here. You call the court, let them know, like, hey, I had this come up. Whether it's before the, your court date or the day of court. As long as you communicate to them, they are understanding. Okay? Like I already said before, between what's going on at home, the fact that you're cooperative with them, that's good enough for me to be able to say, hey, you can go home. But I will say, if we have this kind of incident again in the city, I'll take you to jail. Okay? I... I'm just, I'm just letting you know. I'm not saying that it is, but if we do, I'm not going to be so forgiving next time, okay? I totally get it. I, like I was saying, okay. I, I told exactly what happened. I've never told anything in my life. I did. Well, I think I'm going to the All righty. Do you need have anything more for Miss Veronica at this time? No, we're good. All Well, Miss Veronica, you are free to go on about your way. Take your stuff out to your car, load up, and get on out of here. So was she not bringing it, items up, or was she switching so it with clearance tags? Switching so clearance tags. Switch tags. And underneath. Okay. Because what the call made it sound like is that she was like ringing stuff, but then not ringing stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. But if that's the case, of so switching tags and yeah. Fifty-year-old Veronica Mellick was arrested on suspicion of third-degree theft.